Hi, it's Jimbo Ryder from Tech Buzz, and we're going to have a look back at some phones from a decade or so ago, uh, or thereabouts. And um, we received a few phones untouched in box boxes like so. And we're going to start with the Nokia 1800, which came out in 2009. Now these are considered back to, at this time uh, feature phones, and on the packaging on the back, it will tell us it's an elegant, practical phone with large display. <laughs> And a premium finish something today we'd kind of say what the hell but no that's what it was like back then we'd fm radio and we'd a headset included and a flashlight so um this is the box and the packaging and uh, let's have a look inside and we can see here we have um recycled material information there which nokia was quite a fond user of and always kind of campaigned with recycled materials and it'll also tell you to use original parts something that kind of most of us kind of avoid these days and buy and the likes of chargers and stuff like that from other companies and so forth so let's take out the phone and the packaging and have a look and you can see here it'll give us a brief installation guide on the box itself and we'll get our plug and the plug at back that time was one of the smaller pins as you can see we get a headset and it's quite a nice headset and we can see the, the Nokia name on it there turned around that way perhaps so you use that to press and so forth and um, of course we get our battery which is a massive 800 milliamps and of course um, our information booklet but these are kind of booklets that did lack with sub-menu information and so forth. And people, even today, still kind of don't even bother looking at their menus and, and their information booklets. And it's just the way of life at mobiles, I guess. But we don't look at them. Let's be honest. So, <clears throat> the phone itself, um, quite small. It's light and neat. And a great throwaway phone, even in any standards today and um, up top we have our three and a half headphone socket we have our flashlight which would have been deemed cool back then on the back then we have a speaker up on top we have a charging port here on the right hand side down at the bottom then we have an, an eyelet strap there for your lanyards and nothing on the left so we'll take out the back of the cover and pop the battery in and have a look so simple enough process and that's it and these would have been these kind of phones that you could not start up unless you put a sim card in and um, thankfully today this has been kind of eradicated so you can set up your device before you put your sim in which a lot of people kind of do especially those reviewers and we set it up first and then pop the same in later so we can see with a demo here and the phone will give you a demo of what it does and what it can do and it's the basics there so if we'll say make a call it will give you a video on how to make a phone call which is quite simple but it's there nonetheless for people who need some help so if we go back we'll have a look and what else we can see from here a couple of games vacation solitaire sakudo forbidden treasures settings and it'll allow you to put sounds on and off within the games so we're talking a 1.8 inch screen here with 114 pixel density we've no card slot no loudspeaker so to speak um no bluetooth gps or anything like that so you are not available to get in touch with the outside world so to speak it was just a, fo a phone for calls and texts and then of course you could use your headphones but because the memory on these was little or nothing and you know back then memory was a big thing and there's no video recorder on this either so we've no video function whatsoever no camera so it's just your basic call and text phone 
but nonetheless they were a pretty popular device so that's just a walk around of the nokia 1800 from 2008 and stay tuned for more stuff coming up with some similar devices from the past as we have a few to talk about and any questions at jimbo island or you can get us through the blog at techbuzzisland.com and thanks for watching